Sabadee Krab. Welcome to All About Thailand by me. The Thai government announced the CCSA, the Health Ministry of Thailand, announced an updated entry requirements for entering Thailand. The most weighted announcement did not happen, which was to declare the COVID-19 pandemic as an endemic. It did not happen, but let's go through what actually happened, what actually was announced effective from the 1st of July. So, no Thailand pass. That's very good news. Uh, many people hated the Thailand pass and no travel insurance. As you remember, the, the amount of price or the, the amount you had to be covered, health insurance for COVID-19 went down, 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 down. And finally, it's been scrapped or it's going to be scrapped from the 1st of July and no temperature checks. And that's it. So, so far, uh, we had it almost the same with the Thailand pass and the insurance. It's, it's a little bit like if the Thai government wanted to give you something a little bit, you know, throw you a bone, but the main thing which everyone was waiting for, I, I'm really disappointed. I, I have to say, I, I am, I'm, I'm not in the position to criticize anyone, but, you know, here in the UK, uh, we live free <laughs> since, uh, since February and no restrictions whatsoever. And it's working. And it's working for every other European countries and it's working for every country who made the decision to open up and to... Uh, there, there wasn't even any declaration of, oh, okay, this is now an endemic. Let's say in the United Kingdom, from one day to another, they said no more masks, no more checks, no more vaccine passports, nothing. Yet in Thailand, uh, we've been waiting and waiting and waiting. And kind of that was the plan to declare COVID-19 as an endemic from the 1st of July. It still can happen. It still can happen. Today is the 18th of June, so 12 days to go until the 1st of July. But I'm not sure it's going to happen now. In Thailand, anything can happen anything can happen the government can announce it on the 30s or 31st i don't even know how many days is it june they can announce it days before the due date so it can happen but it's a bit of a disappointment they did not announce after the big meeting i believe the big meeting was on thursday and the official news came out in Royal Gazette on Friday, which was yesterday, today's Saturday. Endemic. That was the word everyone was waiting for. Uh, what, it mean, what it means, so uh, you're asking quite fairly, so no Thailand pass, no insurance, and I'm vaccinated, I could travel to Thailand uh, without any problem, even from uh, the 1st of June. Yes but you still need vaccine uh, passports uh, you you need you need to prove your vaccination status and if you are not vaccinated so from the 1st of july as of now you still need a negative 80k test if you checked my previous video and please do check so it was the it was a big thing and that was a that was a very good thing a very positive thing that the rt pcr tests were I don't know, degraded or... So, from the 1st of June, ATK, professionally administered ATK tests uh, were, were accepted. So, from now on, from, um, or from the 1st of, of June, it was enough to show an ATK test certificate, but it had to be administered, the test had to be done by a healthcare professional. And you had to get a certificate, a certification about this uh, test. It's still on. 
So it's still on that's and that's the disappointment many many people uh, were waiting for that to be scrapped to travel to finally travel to Thailand freely and as of now it's not going to happen from the 1st of July again let's let's talk about the positive things no Thailand pass it was a headache for many many people no insurance which is like if you travel to a foreign country, you usually get some kind of insurance, right? So, again, tiny, tiny thing. And no temperature checks. Uh, that's not only for the airports or on arrival. No temperature checks in the whole country. And very positive thing for Thai people and whoever going to get lucky and get to Thailand. So, from the 1st of July, every 77? Every... Uh, provinces all the provinces in thailand going to be green zones temporarily it's going to be kind of a surveillance uh, zoning let's see if anything going to happen kind of thing but it means green zones every everything everything is going to be open all entertainment venues going to be open basically again everything life seems to going back to normal another thing positive it's a positive thing about masks so it is it's going to be about masks it wasn't clear what's going to happen but i tell you yeah what was the official announcement it's gonna be up to your discretion yes you heard it right it's gonna be up to your discretion to wear a mask or not again in Thailand, probably it means 100% of Thais going to wear the mask, or maybe 95%. I'm sure that there's going to be a few not going to wear masks. So, again, it, it wasn't clear if it's for open spaces, if it's, if you if you're doing exercise, oh, uh, you know, if it, can I go to a shopping mall without a mask? And I think the answer is no, you cannot. It, it wasn't clear, but I'm pretty pretty sure. If it was let's scrap mask wearing rules, then it would have been announced properly and properly been told like guys from the first of July. By the way, there was no date for this, but it's expected to be announced from the first of July. So green zones and mask mandates, uh, they are not clear when they going to uh, be announced but uh, it's expected going to be on the 1st of July as all the rest of the things like the no Thailand pass and no insurance, no temperature checks. So that's it. Uh, it it's, uh, it's up to your discretion. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's going to be plenty of misunderstanding about that. And just imagine uh, the government... It's really like it seems the government or officials, it's not only the government, officials are scared to do the big step. They're scared to do a thing which later they afraid they have to take responsibility for. So if they say now, let's drop the mask wearing rules, let's scrap everything. And if something goes wrong, probably they don't want to be blamed for that. And it's kind of a little bit like, not a little bit, it's completely, you see, this is the Thai, Thai culture segment. Thai culture losing face. It's a big no, no. Thais can't lose face. That's, that's a very, very big embarrassment for a Thai person. Uh, imagine if it's a big embarrassment for a member of public in Thailand. Imagine how is it for an official figure, a government figure. Anyways, you heard about the protest. People never happy about what's going on. Just imagine if if the government or the officials would give an extra reason to, you know, they just, they just give them a high bow. Like, that would be very bad for them. And that would be losing face. If, let's say, if they announce now from the 1st of July, green zone, no mask, everyone can come to the country. And it, if God forbid there would be a big outbreak of COVID or the, I don't know, deaths would rise up 
significantly, then they would have to cancel the whole thing. And if you if you if you say yes to something and you have to cancel on the other day, that's kind of a thing in Thailand you cannot afford if you are a Thai. <sighs> Basically, that's it. That's it. Again, new new rules are another easing of the restrictions, and it's almost going to be as if it was before. Yet, it's not going to be as it it was before. The COVID nineteen seemingly, as of now, again, it can change any time. So, as of now, it's not going to be announced as a as an endemic and it means if you are unvaccinated you will need to bring your ATK test certificate and again one thing and I think it's an important thing I still have to look into it it was announced but it's just it, it, it sounds strange and if I tell you tell you that you will understand why so there's gonna be random uh, vaccination proof of vaccination tests or checks at the airport when you arrive random can you imagine in thailand they go doing it as a random check if it's going to be the case then you might don't have to take that atk test and you might gonna get away with i don't know not getting tested or not having the certificate of no i don't have covid uh but I don't know who would risk it. Who would risk this thing? Like, imagine if you arrive and they say, "Well, uh, you don't have the the vaccine passport or your your vaccination the proof of vaccination, and you don't have the test." So, bye bye. Again, to make it clear, that was the announcement. If you are unvaccinated, you need to do the test or you have to take the test at the airport if you are going to be selected for random documentation vaccine certificate tests or checks <laughs> but again knowing the thai uh, way of thinking it's going to be a permanent thing and it's going to be 100 percent checks or zero I don't know and I would recommend you not to risk anything. Do that ATK test. And yeah, do the ATK test. Yeah. Probably back home already. Don't wait. Don't wait to get the bad news at the airport. So be always 100% sure. Yeah, I think that's a sensible thing to do. All right. Let's summarize new entry rules. No, no Thailand pass, no insurance, no temperature checks. If you are unvaccinated, still need the ATK, professionally administered ATK test by a health, profession, health professional, healthcare professional. And uh, the debate on random checks, if it's going to be random checks, if you don't have the test. Also, uh, green zones everywhere, from possibly from the 1st of July and... Uh, masks your yeah it's gonna be your own discretion if you want to wear them or not still they are not hundred percent green zones I would say hundred percent but we don't know the exact time the main thing is and the saddening thing is still no endemic being announced in Thailand and if if it's still a pandemic status then anything can happen I really, really wait. I was waiting for uh, the Thai government to announce it. I was really excited, and it's a bit, it's a bit of a disappointment, indeed. Anyways, things are changing. Things are going to the positive side, and who knows? We might gonna witness something uh, really, really good very, very soon. Until that. And I really hope my next video I can I can give you the, the good news about that. And until the time, I just want to thank you for watching uh, my video. Thank you whoever subscribed and who liking the videos. It really helps the channel out. And I really really happy you appreciate my my work. So.
Thank you so much again for watching. Have a lovely day. Kokon krab. Sabadi krab.